Hey boys and girls, it's Night Stalker here. Welcome along today to Riverlands Castle Assault. Check it, check it out. Hanging out with some people in a team today. Most of them I've just met today. So hello to Fleur Delacour, Surprise MF, Atriodra and Arches. And hopefully we're going to win this good old game here. Riverlands Castle Assault, notorious for its fortress at the well front gate, really, just above A. And uh, today we are going to sort of try and circumvent that. Going to use the Matalaluri first to try and push in all of the siege equipment. And from there, I think I will probably take Stalwart and try and push B if we have the support and the ways clear. Then we're going to come back, uh, respawn, and grab some Azaps, head to A. And then we're going to take the Fortabrachio Pikeman up the stairs for the final point. Because if there's one thing about this map at this sort of level of play, you can guarantee you're going to find a whole bunch of cavalry. Well, at any level, really. Um, looking down our team, um, reasonably well balanced team on both sides. Only one more each. I oh, know, two on our side. Never mind, a lot of spears though, so we have to be a little bit careful of being assassinated. So here we go with our beautiful loading and animation. Um, don't forget, boys and girls, if you'd like to come and join us in the Discord server, um, if you want to talk about the game or you need some advice or just want to come and hang out and organise some games, uh, the Discord server link is uh, in the video description. Okay, so nobody wants this cannon, so we're going to have a crack. Ah, too low. As one of my other favourite YouTubers says, the first pancake is always burned. And second one is good. Uh, Riverlands is not famous for its lots of artillery, that's for sure. And I don't think we've got any more targets. It's for sure it's a nice tower you've got there. What tower? Don't know what you're talking about. Let's go. So um, this armor I'm wearing here is uh, the Season 3 armor, the Era Lord armor. And the Era Pensioners is the horse armor, if you're interested at all. And the... Um, the skin on the Metalluri there, that is the Revenant skin. That they sell at Halloween. You can get it on both lots of servers. So if you're looking to get that, check out near the end of October. So we should be able to pick one up then. So no one has sallied out. That's a good thing. Very hard to beat cavalry with Metalluri. I don't know if you've ever tried. <laughs> Probably not the smartest idea, so I don't blame you if you haven't. Okay, we'll just wait for that gate to come down. And um, we've got very little information on the enemy so far. We can only see three red dots on our map. And we just know, of course, that there's no doubt in my mind that up those that ramp on the left and under the gateway, there are going to be a lot of enemies. Um, my options now are go and beat down the front gate in there, but I might leave that for someone else. Because we don't see a lot of heroes up the top now, we probably should see more. I'm suggesting perhaps that we might take the stalwarts and get up those, that stairway now. If they're lightly defended in the tower, we'll push into them and kill them with the stalwarts. Otherwise, the plan is to go left and towards B. Hopefully, people will follow us if we do that. So, keep them down there while we have a bit of a look. Hmm, Fort Abrachio is bad. Hey you, come here. Oh. <laughs> and that's one of the advantages of having a full toughness build longsword. Not even down to half life, it's fine, we'll be okay. Watch this, watch this. 3600 odd healing from the bandage. I love it. Okay, so what do we got here? We got a spear and a bow and a musket on the left. Whole bunch of stuff on the right. Hmm. That started to get annoying. Ooh, so musket's gone right. There's only a spear and a bow there. We've got plenty of support, I think. Yeah, especially a couple of teammates. Let's go. And the spears run away too. That's really good. Hopefully we're getting a cannon in the back. This guy's not going to be able to stop us. There's another spear. Uh-oh. That's not what I wanted to see. But that's okay, we're going to win. Um, the only de deciding factor here is how many are we going to lose while we win. Oh, they're in the back now, so we better... Once the, the Berserkers or whatever it is get into the back or into the centre of the, the circle of Stalwarts, um, 
you immediately want to sort of hit the V key, otherwise they'll just hit you in the back for extra damage. Um, that applies to anything. I don't really recommend the Shiltron formation, but those Berserkers there, um, I was already moving in Shiltron because it was a small space, and those Berserkers have the ability to lap around. So it kind of seemed like the right decision to me. It wasn't like I was going to get trebbed and there were no malls around. So it was a fairly safe decision. And into the wall formation. This is what you want to do with any sort of shield. You want to... Um, you want to pop them up there and keep them away from the the circle, right? So any heroes are going to have to try and force their way through or jump over the crap on the right there to try and get into the circle, at which point there are five heroes waiting to murder them. So really, that was very, very secure, but nobody was even interested. And our team has nearly captured A as well. So this game is going exceptionally well already. Uh, we don't even need our ASAPs. Hopefully our team recover from that. Um, they've got no troops here, so I'm going to put my shields here and keep out the enemy. Oh, they spawned Metallo, uh, bleh, spawned condos. That's probably probably needs to be recognised. <laughs> we'll just push in here and move everyone. And stalwarts, when you've got them in the block like this, you just move them in, hit one, and they delete stuff in front of them. Move them in, hit one, delete stuff in front of us. I was trying to keep my friend here alive. And you can go away. I always try and kill long um, malls with prejudice man long sword or not Whoa, ooh, get away from me get away from me you filthy maul um, okay we're getting attacked from the back as well this is not going great I don't think we're gonna survive this <laughs> might be time to uh, GTFO you know what I mean <laughs> oh ooh, can we pin him can we pin him ah, never mind heal anyway and then we'll get up these stairs what are you doing mr. dual blades a death wish <laughs> Can we go down the back of A? No, we can't. Looks like our team got completely pushed off A with only a fraction of time left to actually do it. So it's a bit unfortunate, but uh, we'll go get some ASAPs and force the force the issue in there. What's going on over here? They're still partying in the gateway. Until the Imperial Pikes and the Falcon Eddie showed up. So I might just go and help them finish off the stuff. Oh, muskets. Muskets, muskets, muskets. This guy. Hi friend, can you see me? Hello. Hi. <laughs> Not watching your back, we're your friend. Anyway, your friends and I, we have a dance date, so we're just going to go in here. Oh good, the Nodachi's going to help me. When you're a longsword, it takes absolutely forever to whittle your way through um, the shield units like that. Never mind. Back to... Back to base. And then where we go? Somebody wants us to capture the supply. I think probably the A point is probably more of a priority. Let's have a look. I think we're going to have captured that by the time we get in there, actually. So we are going to take the pikes. And the reason I'm taking the pikes is there's always a lot of cavalry from this point on. Um, they tend to come down from the main back point, down the stairs, both sides. Particularly on the, what would you call it, the right side. You tend to get a lot around there because the space is very open. You know, and once you start pushing in on top two, they'll come down that back stairway where they, uh, where the enemy team spawn, come and flatten you. And of course, that's bad news unless you've got big, long, pointy sticks. And unfortunately, I have lots and lots of gits with long, long, pointy sticks. Yep, as predicted, A fell pretty easy. You know, there was only half a second left on the timer or whatever, so... Ooh, some victims! Now, I don't usually use pikes and brace. But when you're facing cavalry, there's only one way, and that's this way. <laughs> oh, that's so satisfying. Don't you find that satisfying? So, so satisfying. We'll try and cut off their retreat as well. And there we go. We'll just fight an open formation. Why fight an open formation? Because they have a long, long reach. They're spread out, and so they get to still bunch up a bit. And, of course, they're being pikes. That every time they strike one of the... No, we haven't taken the point yet. I won't ask for help yet. And of course, every time you get hit by a pike as a cavalry model, um, you get 60% reduced movement or something. So they tend to gang up on them really quickly. It's much easier just to murder them in open formation. Ooh, what a pest. What is that? No, hello, friend. What sort of archers have you got there? I don't want to misidentify them, man. You guys tease me when I get them wrong. <laughs> so I'm not even going to say what I think they are. 
Are you guys seriously going to sit there? Ah, uh, yes. Hello, Bowman. Yes, yes, I'm very vulnerable down here. Shoot me, shoot me. You know, nothing at all bad is going to happen. Ouch, ouch. Oh, yes, pay attention to me. Don't you dare watch the sky. The sky's got nothing in it, friend. Nothing in it at all, except 7,900 damage. <laughs> uh, I love it. Oh, I love it. Anyway, we've got some work to do. Um, I can see we've got a mall friend here, and he's probably all we need. Our friends are pushing up the back stairs quite sternly at this point, and of course they are coming up over the walls. So, ooh, that's kind of yuck. Uh, watch this, this is easy. Watch. We're going to send the unit to the right, and I'm going to walk to the left. And of course they will try and shoot the closest target, which is me, and my unit will come in and just absolutely slaughter them. Just like a bought one. Damn shields. Probably just brace on them. Massacre, 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 massacre. One gold tier unit. Well, and one cavalry unit too. So actually these guys are doing, doing their points worth this game. That's for sure. Um, we can get some easy kills on some of these. But what's coming down the stairs? Hmm. We'll let the Azaps in the mall deal with him. All berserkers. Okay. Who cares about berserkers? They're fine. They're fine. Watch this. You can push in. Oh, that's a hero too. Open formation. Watch them just absolutely devastate the berserker unit. So, purple cavalry, purple berserkers, gold crossbows. These guys have done, definitely done their points worth so far. And of course the stalwarts got berserkers as well, and most of the unit of condos. And I think we're doing pretty good this game. Managed to push everyone off the points and just take it. It's been great teamwork. Congratulations to the boys and girls on this team. GG. Check it to check it out. How did we do? Oh, only 68 kills. The game was pretty short, I guess. Only 35. I thought there was more than that. Did come second, though, despite the low kill numbers. Yeah, 227 participations, no laughing matter. And so, how did we do overall? Pretty good. Um, the stalwarts did exactly what they should have done. They pushed up to, through to B, uh, managed to hold off the berserkers long enough for, enough for us to keep going. Um, none of their team really seemed to know what's happening at that point, so we just pushed on to B, uh, protected ourselves from the front with pikes and shields, and rolled that. Um, probably pushing on to the supply point after that probably wasn't the best decision. I think we should have come down the stairs at the back of A and contributed there, but at the time it really, really looked like we'd steamrolled A, so I'm happy with the decision there. Uh, Metella Lori did their job, they pushed the thing into the wall, good on them, and the Fort of Brachios did absolutely fantastic. Like, just great. A unit of cavalry, a unit of pavis, and a unit of berserkers, and a hero, as it turns out. So great. Um, and all in all, uh, our team was really focused and cohesive, and the enemy team, unfortunately, were not able to put up a really resilient defence. I think they were mostly, their problem would have been, of course, they weren't using their map correctly, because anyone would have been able to see we were sneaking around the back, right, both times. But alas, their mistake is our victory. I hope you learned something new, or you just enjoyed the battle. Thanks for coming to my channel.